Hey everyone, it's Jess from Meyer Hatchery. Let's make some pate choux. To get started, you're going to need four large eggs that you're gonna go ahead and crack open and beat. You're also going to need a half a cup of unsalted butter. You're gonna cut in eight small pieces, a quarter teaspoon of salt, two teaspoons of granulated sugar, one cup of all-purpose flour, a half a cup of water, and a half a cup of 2% or whole milk. Our first step is to place our butter into a saucepan after we've cut it up into those eight small pieces. We're gonna allow it to start to melt. Then we're gonna add in our water, milk, salt, and sugar. We're going to allow this mixture to simmer until the butter is all melted. Don't let it come to a boil. After your butter is all melted, go ahead and add in your one cup of flour. You're going to stir your flour mixture for one minute and it's gonna form this great ball. We're going to allow this to cool a bit in our mixer bowl and then we're gonna add our paddle attachment and we're going to add our eggs a little bit at a time into our pate mixture. You wanna mix everything until it's nice and shiny and good piping consistency. I usually have a little bit of egg left over that we can use to brush our cream puffs. Next, you're going to grab a piping bag and a piping tip. I'm using a small tip today, but you can use a tip such as a 1A, which is gonna give you a good size cream puff. I like to brush my parchment paper with a little bit of water to create a nice humid environment for our cream puffs as they're cooking. Speaking of cooking, we're going to bake our cream puffs at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for 20 minutes, and then we're gonna drop the temperature to 350 degrees for 10 to 15 minutes until our cream puffs are nice and golden brown. Quick tip, if you want your cream puffs to be nice and golden brown, you can crack one egg or use the leftover mixture from when you were making up your pate choux. Mix that with a little bit of water or milk and gently brush your cream puffs before you put them into the oven. Here's what our cream puffs look like, all baked. Oh, they look great. You wanna make sure to allow your cream puffs to completely cool before you fill them and add whatever filling you'd like. You could use cream, fruit, jam. We actually like to fill ours with pudding. Sprinkle a little bit of powder or sugar on top and offer to your guests. They are going to absolutely love this unique treat made from your farm fresh eggs. 